Hello everybody and welcome to your next Android tutorial. Um so in this tutorial we're just going to be getting familiar with creating an Android project and getting familiar with the Android um environment. So then you'll be able to know exactly what goes on when developing for the Android. So what you want to do is in your package explorer, we want to right click we want to go over new and we want to click Android project now you might not have the Android project so I believe that you can click Java project and you can go through the wizard and it will allow you to create an Android project but to make it easier we want to go to new and then Android project uh, once that is there then we create our project name so um, let's name this uh coding made easy android and I'll go next so um these are the list of like android stuff that you have downloaded I only told you to download the android 2.2 .2. so we're gonna select android 2.2 .2 cause we're developing for android 2.2 if you're developing for tablets or whatever and you want to use 3.0 or the other 3.3 .3 or something then you can choose that it's up to you um, and you can click next so uh, we have the application name then we have the package name now note right here that the package name has to be unique to any other package name that is on the Android marketplace and um you might be saying or oh, that's a marketplace Android market or okay whatever anyways um now you might be saying to yourself how can I guarantee that my package name is different than every other app where there's thousands of apps on the um on the in the market so this is what a lot of people do a lot of people do like will do their website so they'll do the website backwards so for me I'd put like CA dot coding made easy dot and then right here I'd put like the project name I'm working on so say uh, so this one we're just learning Android so I'd put like whatever I just put Android there so then this is going to be unique because most likely nobody's going to be put CA dot coding made easy dot android as a package name if if somebody else has that name then I can always change it but from the get go you wanna like have it unique and then um the minimum SDK so remember how I clicked 2.2 .2? um the API level is um the API level is set to 8 so that's what we're going to be using we're not going to be using the methods in API 15 or whatever so on and so forth but if you wanted and you chose say Android 4.0 or something in the previous screen and then you came down here you could still use the Android um, on the version 4.0 but you could develop specifically for 2.2 .2. so it's whatever it's backwards compatible yeah so you could just leave that right there and for the activity um we want to create an activity and you can name this what you want I'll just, I'm just gonna name this um leave this as default this coding made easy Android activity and we don't want to create a test project so we're just gonna click finish so it's gonna take a while to actually load the project files um you might have to give it like 10 20 seconds to do that depending on your computer speed might take longer but shouldn't uh so you see the x is here uh it's just saying that like it's giving you errors cuz not all the files are loaded as of yet so okay now all the files are loaded okay so let me give you a little bit of insight on what um these things do so this is our package file like right here it's our project right here and underneath our project we have um source and src for source and right here if we click our package name then we double click this sorry I don't know why it's not popping up 
Oh, give it some time. Well, what's gonna pop up is our actual Indeed Java code. And I don't know why it's, it's probably taking long because of my screen recorder. It always slows down the computer. So, okay, so as we're waiting for this to whatever load or unfreeze or whatever, basically, the what's gonna pop up is okay, yeah, what pops up here is the actual Java code. So, if you're familiar with Java, then all this. All these functions, a lot of them should be similar to you, like the import, the Android app activity, and all that stuff, and extends the activity, the activity class and stuff. You and the on create and stuff. You probably don't know that, but the general structure of a Java program is should be familiar to you. Um, if it's not, then I would I suggest you go and learn some basics first. So this is just a general format right here and these are when you create different activities and the way android works it works on different activities um if you look on your android phone for instance and say you click a different application it will pause the the other application activity and it will open a new applications activity now say you click something within that app and it opens another window or whatever it's a new activity but it's that activity linked to the current app and it kind of doesn't make too much sense right now but each window that pops up on your Android is its own separate activity even if it's all linked into one program each window is its own separate activity to make it short and simple so um, if we go to let's see okay so that's our code right there let's um, close this whatever so then let's go to uh, let's go to res okay so this is where we have drawable HDPI um, LDPI and MDPI and basically this is for your your pictures and why do we have three different drawable pictures right or drawable folders um this is for high definition and this is for low definition and this is for the medium in the middle right so the reason we have this is because different androids can run on different resolutions some can be more high definition than others so if you have like three if you have one drawing and you want to have them on three different resolutions for backwards compatibility let's say then you can put one of each type of definition in each of the folders right so um, if we go to the layout, the layout is where um, you actually design your actual Android application. And it is an XML file. And XML, a lot of you are going to be saying, what is um, XML? Well, it stands for Extens Extensive Markup Language. And it basically, when, when it when you code with XML, it has a little bit of rules, but it is set so that you you create like you design what the rules are. So basically, Android has a way, a certain way of reading in um, XML files. So the syntax for the XML files right here will be different for from other XML files, but they're like generally related. And I don't know if that really makes sense to you, but if you've use XML files before then you'll understand what I mean so we get this window right here and there's different um things we can use we can choose like what type of phone we're designing for uh, if we're doing a portrait or landscape mode um uh, it depends like yeah what mode it is if it's daytime nighttime and the theme that we're actually using and um right here you see a lot of um, GUI stuff that you can add to it so say I wanted to add um, a button and I put the button right here and I could spread out the button or whatever and I could edit and I could edit it so if you look right here when we click the main.xml at the bottom we can see the graphical layout and the actual XML file and I'm not going to be getting into this this is for the next tutorial where the XML file is going to be used to actually be typing and stuff to actually update the graphics on here 
and then we're going to try and then actually in our source code when we get to our source code our source code is going to be what is used to actually tell the content what to do so if we add a button it's like whatever yay we added a button but what is the button going to do that's what we tell the button to do in the actual file right here and I'm at 10 minutes right now in the video so I'll try to go pretty quick and explain the other stuff um, later um, the last thing I'm going to get into is the Android manifest um, now nah, is this the file the manifest file yes it is okay so what you'll see is that we have Android manifest um, XML and when you want to do different things with activities or set permissions or whatever this is what you're going to be doing it in and we're going to get more into this later this isn't for like um so probably be in like the 10 or 15 tutorial or whatever somewhere around there but uh, this is what we use to link um different activities to each other and tell different activities what to do what its action is blah 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 so that is it uh you basically got an introduction to um the android now one last thing uh what we want to do is that we want to we want to go to window and then no no actually we want to go right here we want to right click and we want to okay where is it okay run as android application and no I'm not going to say the change I made and if we were to run this as an android application you're probably not going to see anything well this pops up now this um this pops up it might pop up for you by default and it might not pop up for you by default so i'm going to show you how to um actually create the emulator and actually to display the emulator and try and modify its size so that it's not like taking up the whole screen um so let me see if i can close this right now so close this window so I believe you go to window yeah and then AVD manager so we go to window then we go to AVD manager and what we want to do uh, I don't I'm not sure if I showed you how to create the emulator I believe I did but if I didn't let me show you again quickly so um, we click new we name the emulator what we want to so say we're doing droid emulator and then the target so we're doing it for the 2.2 API level 8 um, the size whatever amount of megabytes and then you click create AVD right and then once it's created what you want to do is go to the one you created and click start and then um, you could scale it um, yeah you can scale it to whatever size you want to scale it to if it's too big for you and then you click launch and once you do that, um, then you can X this out. Uh, and where did the window go? Okay, so yeah, it's loading it up, whatever. So once you launch it, yeah, this looks kind of, it looks really small. But anyways, um, once you do that, then it will boot up the emulator for you. So you just leave the emulator open, and whenever you run your project, then it will automatically run your project on this emulator right here. Now I also believe that if you have your Android plugged into the computer and it recognizes it then you can actually test it on your Android itself. And don't worry in later tutorials I'll be showing you how to transfer your programs to your Android without actually indeed putting it on the marketplace so you guys can test it out show your friends or whatever before you actually release it. So that is it for this tutorial. I know it was kind of long but I hope you enjoyed it and bye.